Hey, how you doing beautiful souls? Kevin Clark here. It's a privilege and a honour to be serving you at such a time as this. Thank you for stopping by. It's not by happenstance that you have decided to stop here. I've got a few words to share with you, right? And I'll be so super straightforward and authentic. I've not rehearsed anything. This is all off my heart. I'm sitting down at a place called Straw Bridge. I'm surrounded by a lot of water birds a lot of nature now I just want to share a, a quick little story with you if you are in a place that appears to be hard if you have attempted tried so many different things in your life and it's like you are hitting a ceiling you've been discouraged everything that you put in your hand to seems to not work and if you're ever asking yourself, what is it? Why? Why aren't things working out for me? Why does it seem as though everyone else around me is having a great life? I know that I've got skills. I know that I've got talents. All I want to do is just have a decent life. Now, if you're asking yourself these kind of questions, there's a reason for why, okay? And you will find that a lot of the times you can be looking everywhere else for solutions, run into this job, run into that job, taking on training, doing all these different courses, getting your qualifications, applying for jobs now that you're academically qualified going into these jobs staying there for a short amount of time only to realize that it's not you and it's not as though you are a waster it's not as though you're a lazy bum it's not as though you don't want to add value into the marketplace it's just that, for some reason, you don't fit in. And every time you attempt to live this mediocre lifestyle and fit in this box, you just get vomited out to the point where you're thinking to yourself, this is absolutely ridiculous. Something's got to change. Well, if you are at that place right now, I've got some good news for you because this is breakout. This is where... This is a window, and this window, this door that you've come to, this place where you're at right now, everything that you're looking for is right under your nose. In fact, it's within you. There's a book which I love called the Holy Bible, and Jesus speaks a lot, a lot of parables in there. Jesus basically is sent of his father, comes down, he's like, look, you like, I want to show you certain things about who you truly are, your authentic self, and what you're able to do. But if you basically just listen to what I'm showing you, then you will have the same insight, the same success as me. I'm only doing what my father thinks. Christ in you, the hope of glory. You see, until I literally decided to go into myself, the kingdom of God is within you. Until you do that, you're going to be looking in this external world filled with smokes and mirrors, mirages, all these different type of things dictating to you who you ought to be, how you should feel, what you should be thinking how much you're supposed to be earning. These are the kind of things that you are going to continue to have challenges with until you decide to just stop, breathe and be very honest about your life.
I mean, he was born, he was given an identity. You've been conditioned from birth. You've been told how to think, what to think. Layers upon layers of it. But until you decide to be honest, detach yourself from all of these conditions and rewire things, uproot stuff. Until then, you ain't gonna know your authentic self. There is greatness within you. If I could show you what I can see in regards to who you truly are, you will wake up every single day with absolute excitement, rearing and ready to go because the kingdom of God is within you. There is endless treasure within you. Once you continue to change your mind, you will start to change your life. There is greatness within you. As you start to explore the truth about who you really are and why, you will start to see yourself talk. You start to see why you've arrived, where you've arrived. Because oftentimes we're not aware of death and life. Life and death being in the power of the tongue. If you find yourself saying things like, oh, this is so ridiculous, I can't do this, I'm so rubbish at that, guess what? You're having what you say. You're literally conditioning yourself. You're conditioning yourself. You're saying these things, negative self-talk, and your mind is like, okay, I'll do everything I can to support that. So if you're waking up, saying things to yourself like, oh, I feel so crap, what's gonna happen? Your subconscious mind is going to basically take that information in and do everything it can to support those statements. So you'd literally be setting yourself up for failure. So can you imagine, years upon years, being around all this negative energy and negative people, negative beliefs, meditating on these things. It's literally cultural hypnosis on so many different levels. It's ridiculous, in fact, it's disgusting. So I'm here to basically show you that today is the first day of the best days of your life. And all those dreams that you've had, that you still have, just know that it's possible. It is possible. And I'm excited about you. I'm excited about your future. So I encourage you today to decide that you are gonna be your true self, your true likeness, your authentic self, the king, the queen, made in your father's image. That's your true identity. Who do you say that you are? Who do you say that you are? Because as you think, that's who you are. As a man thinketh, so is he. I challenge you to decide to only say the things that you truly want to see. You see, with your mind but you look with your eyes master your mind master your words condition yourself change your physiology did you know that your subconscious mind is attached to your body if you don't feel great you're not gonna be propelled to do great things once you change how you feel oh wow your life will change if you decide to feel great, rather than wait to feel great, that's a breakthrough right there. You may wake up and say to yourself, or think to yourself rather, I'm not feeling great. However, if you choose to change that state, you know what, I may not feel great. However, I am going to be great today. I'm gonna to put joy and laughter in my mouth. This is the day that the Lord has made. Every single day you wake up, is the day that the Lord has made. So rejoice, literally, and be glad in it. Change your physiology, change your position, change your mind, change your life. There is greatness within you. You dictate what you expect to see each and every day. 
and continue to build yourself up. Every day in every way, you're getting better and better. You are the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. You can do all things through the mind of Christ that strengthens you. It's all about reconditioning your mind. It's all about transformation. It's all about rewiring and firing. I admonish you to get a pen, to get a pad and start writing down your expected ends. Direct your mind to your expected ends. Reprogram your subconscious mind so it starts working on autopilot. So you start to literally pull everything in on autopilot that you desire. You know, you're always giving out signals regardless whether you know about it or not, knowingly or unknowingly. Your subconscious mind is programmed to put out information into the field on autopilot, on autopilot. So if you've got a conditioning in your subconscious mind that is built up upon a lot of negative beliefs, negative self-talks, if you've been literally thinking about stuff that's happened in the past, which is just information in your head, and you've been thinking about things that's happened 20 years ago, guess what? Those 20 years are just thoughts in your head. So you could be living in a shadow of the past that isn't even true. Now, if you want to think about tomorrow, tomorrow is a thought. You are already in the here and the now. If you decide to let go of all those thoughts that, that have been holding you back and decide to only see the things that you expect in the future, this is what will happen. You'll be creating your future. You'll be creating your future. So on that note, I would like you, I would love you in fact, because you are amazing, to start writing your future today the way you expect to see it and turn things around. 180 degrees if you've been waking up in the morning doing the same thing for ages and you're getting the same results let's change that let's change that today do something different to get different results start reading the books that you truly want to be reading in regards to where you expect to be hang around with people that want to celebrate you start dressing and looking at the things that you aspire to become like Birds of the same feathers flock together. So start to have a look around and associate yourself with things and people and stuff that look like your future. And you know what will happen? You will become those very same things. You'll become just like those people. But guess what? You'll be authentic. The authentic you will come alive it's a bit, not, a bit like the story of the caterpillar and the butterfly and that wonderful metamorphosis. There is greatness within you. You've got so much value to add to this world, to humanity. And everyone's basically waiting to hear your story. You're here to add value to people. There's plenty of room up the top. So I dare you to soar like an eagle. I'm believing in you. It ain't over until you win. So all those things that you've dreamt about, I don't know what came in and sabotaged that, but this is take back time. This is snatch back time. This is time for you to walk in dominion and walk in power. So, I hope that's added some form of value to you. Come with us, we'll do you good. Subscribe to my channel, click the alert button. Use the information in the description box. Get connected with great people that are aspiring to do great things. Join my Facebook group. I'll leave the details underneath. 
I'm looking forward to hearing your testimony. Yeah. It's not by happenstance that you're listening to this. Rule your world. Don't care what's been said about you in regards to the past. Couldn't care less about how things appear. Fear, false evidence appearing real. That's the acronym. Couldn't care less about your qualifications, your credentials, how you've been written off, what kind of things you went through in the past, how you look, creed, colour, beliefs, religion, whatever. It's not about that. It's about freedom. It's your life. It's about you. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. You are absolutely amazing. I'm just telling it as it is. Because I've been through, I've crossed over, I've gone through, I've crossed the river of change. And I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. I've got inner harmony, inner happiness. I've got joy, I've got my peace back. So now it's time for you to come through, align yourself, be in your sovereign state, take control, get your power back, kings, queens. Let's do great things together. So I'm looking forward to you hooking up with me. And I appreciate you. So that's it from me, Kevin Clark, believing in you. Stay focused. God bless. Bye now.